until you install Homebrew and FFTW with the x86 architecture, you will not see Spectralizer show up. So if you just run the package, it will not work. Hey everybody, this is Sully with Five Freaking Onion Rings. And today, I'm going to show you how to add the Spectralizer, this very nice Spectralizer, which I love, to a live stream or to your videos, whichever one you want to do, to a live stream for an M1 Mac. And the reason I'm showing for an M1 Mac is because a lot of people have a problem installing to the M1 Mac with the new Mac M1Xs and all the new Mac stuff, the ARM processors. I thought I would show what worked for me because it was hard to find and I ended up spending three hours. First off, you're going to releases. I'll have all links down below. Going to releases for the Spectralizer. And you want to grab the latest one. Right now it's 1.3.4, which has been out for a while. You want to grab that. You also want to go to make sure Homebrew is installed. And to install Homebrew, it says to just copy this into a terminal. Now here's where the problem came in. With terminal, you actually need to run it a specific way. Open your finder. I had to search for it because if I did from Launchpad, I cannot right click. So I don't know if that's just me or if that's you. But it's easier to go to finder, search for terminal, find the terminal.app, right click on it or double two finger click. You want to do get info. Then you want to open using Rosetta and open your terminal app using Rosetta. You want to make sure it's Rosetta. So to install Homebrew for it to work with the Spectralizer, you'll have to type in ARCH for architecture dash x86 underscore 64, then paste the command, the bin bash command. Control V. Hit enter. It's going to ask for your password. I've already installed it. So I'm not going to go through that again. You hit enter. You want to use this architectural setup because it will set up in the correct folders. Um, it'll set the whole folder structure. Once you're through, keep this window open. You're going to want to go over to back to Homebrew, search for FFTW, and it's going to bring you to this one. To install this, you just type in this install command that is brew install. FFTW. Make sure you're in the same window. That is very important. Same window because it will set up in the correct folders. If you're not in the same window or if you take off this Rosetta, you know, run as Rosetta, then it's going to set up differently and it's not, it's just not going to work. So don't, don't do it. I spent hours trying to fix this. Once you run your terminal commands, then you can just run your Spectralizer package it's going to ask, you know, if you want to install yes or no, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it might ask, if you get a security issue, go into Launchpad, Launchpad, System Preferences. You'll want security and privacy. And down here, it'll ask you if you want to open this app. So you would just click yes here. Uh, for me, it, like I say, it just already did. You want to hit continue, continue, enter your password, or use your thumbnail. And then once all of that is complete, you will be able to open OBS and you will see Spectralizer listed as an input source. Until you install Homebrew and FFTW with the x86 architecture, you will not see Spectralizer show up. So if you just run the package, it will not work. But once it's open, it's really nice. You can come in you know, add your Spectralizer, you get bars, you get circle bars, or you even get wire, which if you want wire is really cool. And then you have a lot of options, you know, you can put your audio input. Uh, if, you, if you're running an external, uh, external uh, USB audio interface, you can have that. You can use basically any input. You can have an MP3 running, or you can have whatever you want. Filters, these just slow things down. So if they're you know, if they move too quickly for you, or if they don't move fast enough for you, or however it is, you know, they just move it down. Uh, they smooth it out. That's all filtering really does. I like to leave it off. I like the jagged look. You can set your bar width, your bar height, your spacing, use round corners if you want. Um, that's really kind of funny. And you can even increase or decrease. Uh, if you increase gravity, it never changes. And if you decrease, 
you'll get the really wild ones that just go with every little thing. And you can find out what pitch you are in if you're really good. You can also set it to use more bars or fewer bars, however you want. If you want two bars bounced around, you can do that. And you can even do stereo. But I don't have a stereo input, so right now it's not stereo. Stereo won't work for me. If you are using speakers and you have a stereo input, you can. You can even do log. Uh, I don't know why you would want to, but you can. Um, yeah, and you can, of course, change colors. So just select a color and there you go. It's all good. But that is for the M1 Mac. If you're using a Windows, you just have to go to releases and wow, you just run the executable and it works fine. If you're on an older Intel Mac, I think you can just run package, but you still have to have Homebrew installed. Uh, you don't have to run it in any special way because the Intel Macs don't have Rosetta problem. They're not, they're, they're in the correct architecture. So once you are through, don't forget to uncheck open using Rosetta. And from that, enjoy yourself. Hope you have a good day. Peace out. This is Sully. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll have more content soon. Like I say, I like to find little problems and fix them. And this one was bugging me. So y'all have a good day. Take care.